Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode of The Design Factory. In this video, I'm gonna continue the work that I was doing on the design of my personal website, the new version of my website. And if you didn't see the last video that I did, a sort of live streaming where I was asking suggestion of what to do with this header page, basically I took all your suggestions, all your comments, and I tried to apply everything you said in this new version or this like updated version of the header. Basically, you guys suggested a notification center, something useful for the user to use uh, when it's logged to get all the notification and to have a unique place where everything is solidified in one section and then adding extra stuff on this sort of like toolbar right after the header. Um, I was still confused and I wasn't sure what to do in the section so my suggestion for this video is to when you get stuck on something that you don't really know what to do and you have no idea how to progress or how what to add if what you're doing is good i always suggest to keep doing keep going do another section um, forget temporarily about the section that it's causing you issues and continue in doing something else most of the times removing your attention and uh, removing your brain energy on the same issue will automatically solve that issue. <laughs> it will give you like a different perspective. So that's what I'm doing in this video. I uh, stopped worrying about that top header toolbar part and I'm continuing the work on the design. So I created some uh, rollover iterations and I'm expanding especially the functionality of the visualization of the forum section when the user is logged in. So I don't want to show only the forums or like the most recent forum updates, but I want to give them a quicker access, most likely related to all the topics that they touched. So I'm implementing a quick widget sidebar for the forums where I'm listing the um, more important sections that probably they visited or they participated or they left a message. In this case, I'm tackling the development section. And of course, because I have a pretty solid color palette with like red, green, blue, and all this kind of colors that I'm using throughout the website, I will reuse those colors to separate visually those sections and make them more readable for the user. As you can see here, I'm doing a lot of details. I'm taking care of a lot of text. I'm experimenting with different length of copy, titles and descriptions or like images and dates and tags just to experiment on how it will look in a real life scenario. And that's something that you should always do when you design a website, especially when you're doing the actual design, when you're not doing any more wireframes or low fidelity UI, but you're doing like the high fidelity UI, you should always try to simulate the worst case scenario for your content. So if you have a specific amount of space for a title, try to write a bigger title, like a longer title and see what happens, how it looks, how your design should react to those situations because a web design, a design that it's made for a web page is not fixed, it's not static, it's always fluid, it changes based on many many factors, based on the size of the screen of the user, the resolution, based on how much content is printed currently in that specific page and every user could see your website in totally different situation and totally different results so you should always try to experiment that never never design a website assuming that your content will remain exactly the same So after moving forward to other sections and completing sort of completing the forum part, I got the idea of how to handle and how to deal with these 
top toolbar. And as you can see, I also deleted a bunch of sections for the bottom because uh, if the user is logged in, I don't really need to repeat those sections for the user that it's already hooked and it's already inside the system. So I'm saving memory, I'm saving space, I'm saving loading times for call to actions that are more important instead of repeating content that I already have in the homepage for a newly arrived user, something that probably an already signed up user doesn't really care of seeing or will never click on it. So I'm quickly replacing the list of most recently uploaded videos and the blog post with just two simple big buttons, big call to actions in two columns at the center, at the bottom part before the footer, just to avoid to repeat that content that it's not really useful for an already signed up user. The last part that I decided to do was the something about you part, and I'm not really sure about the title, probably will change it in the future, but basically it's a sort of like quick overview or a quick statistics review of all the most recent activity for that specific user, just to let them know how many videos they watched, how many messages they wrote in the uh, forum, and how many comments they left in the blog. Of course, these um, type of statistics statistics is not fundamentally important and most likely we will remove them if they get too messy, too complicated, but it's something that could be useful for the user, especially if they want to see the last time they logged, just to have an extra layer of security and check if they're the only one using that specific account. And as I said at the beginning of the video, thanks to your suggestion, I created this uh, unified notification area or notification center, as I like to call it, where I'm gonna collect all the notifications, all the pop-ups or all the uh, messages, answers, or like new series, new internal, external announcements of the website, whatever, inside this area to have one single place and allow the user to quickly access all the information that he needs after login, after a specific amount of time. Try to add content as accurate as possible, as finalized as possible. Try to think of all the type of messages that the user could get and try to organize it in uh, the best way possible, including all the options and all the functionalities that you commonly use in all the notification center. As an inspiration for this notification center, I looked at the Google Plus or like the generic Google notification center. It's probably splitting notifications from all the different apps. And even if you don't really like the design of Google Plus, their card system is really intuitive and easy to use for pretty much everyone. So it's pretty much it for this video. I'm pretty satisfied with the result. As you can see, it looks really consistent, clean, and it, it kind of looks and feel accessible, easy to understand with all those icons and uh, the location of those actions. Uh, it it kind of looks intuitive. It kind it looks new, but not too new that it's hard for uh, a user that is not technically savvy um, to use it properly. So I'm pretty satisfied with the result, and I think I will move forward from this section. I don't need to uh, design any more this page for a logged in user, and I can move forward to another section. Thank you so much guys for watching and I talk to you in the next video.